So we've gotten the official trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender, that the show that Netflix is, you know, making just a couple of days ago. And after watching the trailer, I think, no, I'm certain, 100% sure that the show is going to be better than the 2010 movie. Hey, this recent trailer already is better than the entire movie that came out. Like, first of all, just visually, it looks way better than the movie. And I know it can, you know, be because of budget and because of the times, but they are, you know, movies that had almost the same budget as you know the 2010 movie and still look way better secondly the costumes are freaking on point even though you know some of the casting some of the members don't really look like the cartoon version but that doesn't matter you are not going to find someone who looks exactly like that character in the animated show but they still look good and what actually matters more is their acting ability Second of all, no one is pronouncing the names wrongly. I know it's just a trailer, but from some of the names that we've heard, they are pronouncing it exactly or almost exactly like the animated show. Unlike the 2010 movie, which decided, hey, we are going to say the way we want to. That's right, I'm Sokka. It's pronounced with an Akka. Sokka, don't. I am Prince Zuko. So, are you the Avatar Ong? My name is Ong. And I'm the Avatar. Which is such a, you know, weird and surprising choice to do something like this, which is just a simple thing. It's not like, you know, a comic book or something where, you know, the names, you may take liberty in, you know, saying it in a way that you think is right. But you are adapting an animated show which you already know the correct pronunciation of the names, but you decide, hey, we actually know better. And thirdly, Netflix is actually making a show instead of a movie. I don't know who came up with that idea, you know, that, hey, let's make an Avatar movie and cramp everything from book one. Which is less than two hours of one movie with credits included. Like, this is insane. I know that Netflix is kind of doing the same thing, you know, Pulling forward storylines that we were supposed to, you know, get way later on, introducing characters that we were supposed to meet, you know, in book two and a little beyond that. But, you know, I, I'm, even though I'm a little skeptical, I'll wait till I see how it all flows and goes in this show. But at least it's better than it being in the freaking whole movie. And I'm not saying if the 2010 movie was an actual show, it would have worked. Nope. It would have flopped regardless. With them botching the naming, the costume, the cramped story, and worst of all, the acting of course, horrible. Just from this one shot in the official trailer for the show, I actually, it's better than the performance for Aang in the 2010 movie. I don't want the responsibility. You don't have to do this alone. And I'm not saying the Netflix show is going to have the best acting in the world, but I for sure know that it's not going to be as bad as the 2010 movie. Now, next is the bending, which is the most F you to the fans and to the source material. Like, wow, they really looked at this, looked at the performance, and during the editing process, and thought, wow, th th this looks amazing. People are gonna love this. The animated series showed bending should be fluid, it should be part of the user. And yet they thought that the bender should actually move so vigorously just to do so little. The fact that fire benders have to be in reach of fire before they can fire burn is the most stupid thing ever. <laughs> Just the brief shots in the official trailer that we've gotten of, you know, the bending, it, it looks miles, like a thousand times better. The choreography, 
I know that they are not pulling any stops. They are just going far and beyond to actually make this adaptation, the action, the cinematography, the music actually good and pay respect to the source material whilst also changing certain things here and there. Like, I, I don't even know what to say about the 2010 movie anymore. It's like one of the worst adaptations of all time. Just check some of these scenes. This horrible monstrosity. Earthbenders! Why are you acting this way? You are powerful and amazing people. I am Prince Zuko, son of Fire Lord Ozai and heir to the throne. That child is being arrested. For what? He was bending tiny stones at us from behind a tree. It really hurt. My name is Ong. And I'm the Avatar. You could show the world the true strength of fire. I am pleased. Well, Commander Jacques. The Avatar would have to be an airbender. Are you an airbender, boy? <laughs> Leave him alone! Don't give up! We can do this together! All airbenders should be dead. Kill we arrive. Even if a 10 year old will see this and having watched the animated show will just be horrified. That's why no matter what the Netflix show is going to end up being, it's never going to be worse than this. Now another thing that I will criticize about the Netflix show is the scar on Zuko's face. I don't know why they never go in, you know, all out making it deformed, you know, to actually have an impact on the audience. Like, damn, that looks nasty. It looks painful. The animated show did it very well with the eye a little closed off and even when his hair grew, it, parts of it was burned and his eyebrow was gone. I don't know why they never do this weird decision considering that it's supposed to be a burn mark anyways i wasn't hyped before but after seeing the official trailer I, I, i'm really looking forward to this i even did a video comparing some of the shots and scenes in the trailer to some of the animated scenes which i can't wait to see in full now let me know in the comments below what you thought of the official trailer and how excited are you for the show and what do you think of the 2010 movie now if you did enjoy this video leave a like it does help the channel when the video out subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any new video as well as always 90 cga see you guys in the next one